6.30 hit, the whole town I called home became black as coal. I could hear strange noises echoing from the jungle surrounding me. And in the midst of the darkness, I saw a promenade overflowing with light overlooking the Amazon, the dwelling place of the Aquitos. I saw fire jugglers, men with dancing monkeys, apes touting for coin, and stalls selling strange, strange food. I began to grow hungry, so I walked over to the stalls. They sold strange-looking fish, rubs, and insects, along with some disturbing-looking meats and creatures whose origins I couldn't even fathom. I stuck with the fish paired with a spicy sauce and rice, then wrapped in leaves. I began to grow weary, so I sat on a bench and watched the crowd walk by. I thought to myself, how resourceful the Aquitos must be. They could only be reached by boat or air, which of course was too expensive for them. So they were stuck in the jungle. I remember seeing strange people in the crowd. Some people stumbled alone, dazed and half naked. Perhaps their souls were lost to the jungle of medicine some time ago. They were talking to themselves, or to the apes, or whoever else they dragged with them through their wretched, wretched lives. As I scanned the shabby area, I could see why the cult would have their base near here. The hollow screens laid there, broken and unpowered. Few inhabitants had a U-chip, or for that matter, needed one. There was an abundance of food and shelter in the Amazon, and there would always be a place to make a living in a town like this. I cringed, thinking about how easy it would be for a local to just take me out. I remember sweating from the hot sauce, and as I wiped my face, I gained enough strength to wander through the quieter and bright back streets towards Aquito's famous market. <laughs> 